What's up guys, it's Toxer here, and I have an archaeology video. Oh shit, really? You only do archaeology when you're bored, but this time in Pandaria, and 5.0.4, it's a bit involved there. Now, once you've like, now in 5.0.4, you can actually dig up to 6 times per dig site instead of 3, which will increase your chance of getting these rare items. For example, for me, it's the freaking mount, the scarab mount from Tolver, it's it. I can't get it, it's so hard. And I am the person who got the Vile of the Sands recipe. Just saying. But now in Pandaria, there's two new races. There are um, Pandaren and Mogu. I can only find Pandaren so far. I'm guessing it's just by the fact that P Mogu might be at high level. Just like, for example, let's say Tolvir is 450. Mogu might be a bit higher. I'm not sure about that. Sorry for the random information about that. Or not certain information. But I am really excited about archaeology in <laughs> Pandaria. You know, when you've turned in these scrap items you get, like, for example, you know, chest of tiny glass animals or a silver scroll case, they sell for 200 to 100 gold. Money! But in Mist of Pandaria, there is something else you can do with these. Now, once you've created stuff with these artifacts, you, c you create items, you create bad items. They can only sell for one gold, but you can, like, Scrap them up, put them in a box, and uh, turn them into a archaeology trainer. And if you do that, you can actually trade them for if you have a box. Let's say I gave them, I give them the box, and I get like seven to nine artifacts of a non-Pandarian um, fragment, non-Pandarian content, basically. So I, I can turn in like. Uh, for the box, I can get like 12 VR artifacts, which is really rare, or they only spawn on one position, and that's all them. And you know, it's a really good way to get you, increases your chance to get these rare items you really want. Now, there's also two dailies uh, in Pandaria. Fragments of the Palace is the first daily. Uh, visit the archaeology dig sites around Pandaria and use your survey ability to retrieve six Serpent Rider relics. Once you've done that, you get 236,000 experience, 11 gold, 40 silver, or 19 gold, 84 silver, and 50 copper, if complete level 19. And also 125 reputation with Order of the Clown Serpent. Uncovering the past is the second daily. Some one Pandaren or Mogu artifact. And your reward is Lesser Charm of Good Fortune, and also 5 Valor Points. You also get 236,000 experience in 11 gold, 40 silver, or 19 gold, 84 silver, and uh, 50 copper, if you're at level 19. Um, I'm sorry if I cannot show you this, because this might be copyrighted, but there's going to be a link in the description if you want to read your, the daily yourself and have a little look show over this archaeology thing in Pandaria. Now, the last things are the rare artifacts you can find. Now you can find a Quillian statue, it's a basically a statue of a lion in an umbrella, which works as a hell and offhand basically, I, I mean it might be useful in level 90, I don't know. A Spear of Zuin, and also the anatomical dummy. This one I really like just by the fact that when you put it out, you know, you can obviously hit it, it's like a portable dummy, but also, he <laughs> gives you insults like, oh is that all you got? Bring it on and all that kind of stuff. So. I really want that freaking dummy so I can bash a living hell out of it. Guys, that's been everything for me, Toxter, aka the Tom Dish. I'll see you guys next time, and if you haven't subscribed to Ace Games, or I guess my channel, then go ahead and look there if you want. I'll see you guys next time.